DID is an AI company that has a tool called Creative Reality Studio that creates some really impressive looking AI avatars. I'll have a few of the avatars take over from here to explain a bit about what it is, and then I'll show you exactly how it works. DID also has generative AI tools that enables users to transform any picture or video into extraordinary experiences. Its technology is used by creators, leading marketing agencies, production companies, and social media platforms around the world. Their mission is to enable full video production using just AI. So to access DID, you could go to d-id.com and log in. And once you log in, it will take you over to studio.d-id.com. And this is where you could create these videos. So this is my library of some of the videos I've already created, including the ones you just saw. And to create a video, all you have to do is press create a video. But let me just briefly show you the pricing plan so you understand what you get, because this does have a free option, but it's very limited. So I'll go to pricing here. And I'm sure they're going to change this all the time. But at the time that I'm recording this, you do have a free trial. So that gives you up to five minutes of creation. This does come with a watermark though, the DID watermark. And it's pretty limited on the AI avatars you have options to choose from. This plan, this is the one I have currently. This one gives you 10 minutes per month. This is five minutes total. This one refreshes every month. You still get the watermark. So this is still for trying things out. And you do get a lot more presenters to choose from and you have some prompts as well. But if you really want to use it, you really need to go with the pro plan that removes the DID watermark. It just gets an AI watermark that they have that with all their plans. And they also give you a lot more presenters. They give you far better AI voice generators too. So this one is what I recommend, but go ahead and try the free one. Upgrade to this one. If you really want to use it for practical reasons, this is the one you really need to get. So back over here inside of studio, let's go ahead and create a new video. I want to show you all the different options you have here. And over here, you could choose a presenter to start with. So you could see these are the different presenters. I'm going to show you in a second how to upload your own picture too. You could animate yourself talking even with your own voice. You could upload that too. I'll show you that in a bit. Some of them are going to say HQ. So if they say HQ, this is the higher version, the pro version of it. So if you do want to use it, I recommend going this route in a bit after you get to a hang of it here. But this includes a lot more than what I'm going to show you here with the five dollar plan that i have right now so i'll go ahead and choose a presenter here let me try this one here i haven't tried this one and that's the first thing you want to do i'll show you this generate ai presenters in a second too this is a different thing here these are the different presenters you have available again if you upgrade your plan you will even see much more then on this box this is where your script is going to go so in the beginning of the video i put my script over here and this is basically how i get them to talk then you choose your language down here. This is not going to do translation. If you actually give it English text, it's going to basically do it in these accents. But if you actually want it to read that way, you will have to translate. If you're doing English, you will have to translate that to whatever language. I'll show you a tool in a second. Then over here, you have voices. So these are the different voices. So when you choose a face, the voice is separate. So I could get this to sound like Nancy. But it's going to look like this character. That's not what I want. So right here, I'm going to pick on their male character as one of these voices. And you could listen to it. So let me go ahead and press listen here. DID also has generative AI tools that enables users to transform any picture or video into extraordinary experiences. Okay, so you could go ahead and test out a bunch of different voices. Some of them have a bit of accent. Some of them, let me just choose one that gives you more styles over here. Some of these will give you some more styles. I'll choose guy right here and you can see the style, not all of them are going to have it, but some of them basically let you change the tone of voice. So I'm going to change it to excited guy. Let's hear that. DID also has generative AI tools that enables you. Okay, that's way too excited. So let's do more friendly. DID also has generative AI tools that enables you. Okay, so that's much better. So these are the steps. Pasting your script over here, choosing language, choosing your voice and choosing a style. And that's right after you choose the avatar. A couple of different options you have here. You could add breaks here. So it's gonna basically add a little bit of pause between words if you wanna do that. This was fine the way it was reading it, but that's how you slow it down if you want. And continue your text using AI. This is basically using uh, the technology behind ChatGPT to write you more. So you could give it a prompt and it will continue to develop a script for you. 
if you don't want to exit this program to go into ChatGPT, you could do it right within here. So that's this option. Just get it to write you a script basically, but I gave it something just from the DID website here to read. Here, you could upload your own voice. So if you recorded audio, I'll show you this in a second with my own picture and animating my own picture, but that option is over here. Right now, let's go ahead and generate. So to do that, you're gonna press generate. Your script should be here. And it's gonna tell you how many credits you're going to use. So it says one credit, untitled video, I could name this after, but it's up here, you could name it so you don't forget what it was. Gives you the length. This plan also gives me this watermark. So let me go ahead and generate, I'll show you what this looks like. It's usually pretty fast. And let me go ahead and press play. DID also has generative AI tools that enables users to transform any picture or video into extraordinary experiences. Okay, not too bad. And I could download it here. It downloads it as an MP4. So I could take this to other type of platforms. Like a lot of times I like Adobe Express or Canva and using these videos as like an element to a presentation because a lot of times I don't think they look good enough to use them full screen, but they definitely are okay if you put them in the corner and they have some kind of a slideshow over them. So that's how you download them. You could delete it over here too, but you did use up a credit just to do that. And all your creations will appear over here. So if you ever want to go back to one, it's under the video library. You're not gonna be able to edit it. You have to create a new video, right? These are already created, but they all appear under the library tab. And make sure you name them, I didn't name these. So some of them I named, so it's easier when I name them to go ahead and search for them this way, right? So make sure you name them so as this gets more crowded, you could find previous creations. Now let me create a new video because I wanna show you this option where you paste in a script. So here's a script I have and it's in English. But if I change this to, for example, German, look what happens. The ideas also has generative AI tools that enables you. So he's using a German accent to read it. That's not what I want. So I usually use a different app called DeepL. Now this app actually does real quick translations. So I just put in English here and he gave me the German. So now I could take the German, I could go back to the ID and then paste in the German. Now listen to this. The ideas verfügt auch über generative AI tools. Die es den Benutzern ermöglichen, jedes Bild oder so that's pretty good. So DeepL is the translation tool, and that one does have a good amount of free credits too. Okay, now let me show you this option over here where it says generate AI presenters. So these totally look different. So these are more animated. These are not the ones that look closer to real life videos, and you could choose them here. But what's really cool is you could actually type in a prompt and generate these totally from scratch. Okay, so here's just a bunch of different options. Let's go ahead and choose this one. Perfectly center portrait of a robot center frame. So that was a prompt, highly detailed, cinematic. So all kinds of different prompts here. So these are things that I typically would use inside of Midjourney. You could also use Midjourney. And if you haven't watched any tutorials on Midjourney, I recommend you do so because you could create them in Midjourney and then bring them over here as well. Right now, let me go ahead and generate one. So this is using another software called Stable Diffusion in the background to do this kind of technology of generating photos. Okay, so I got one here. Let me go ahead and add this avatar. So this is one I just generated. Let's go ahead and click on it. And let's go ahead and keep everything the same. Let's get a German voice here this time. And let me go ahead and generate. It's gonna use up two credits. And this time, let me name it German Robot. And let's generate video. Generate. The ideas verfügt auch über generative AI tools, die es den Benutzern ermöglichen, jedes Bild oder Video in außergewöhnliche Erlebnisse zu ver. Okay, so that's pretty interesting. And let me show you one more thing that's available over here, which is you could add your own pictures. So I'm gonna press add. So here I have a few different images. So this is a face swap inside of Midjourney that let me create these. I have a different tutorial about that. They'll include in the resource section or in the description below. And then I also have just me sitting here. So let me try this one. It's best if you don't have any type of expression on your face. So these actually were better than this one. I have a little bit of smile. Let's see how it turns out though. Okay, there we go. And then what you could do is again, type in the script. So I'll type in the same script and I could go ahead and choose a voice, for example, and then see what that sounds like. DID also has generative AI tools that- But in reality, it's probably best if you're using a photo of yourself to use your own audio. 
So I recorded a bit of audio, the same section here, audio test. I just recorded this just using basically the setup I have here, but you could do this with your phone and drop it onto your computer. I'll open it up here and this is the voice now. It's technology is used by creators leading marketing engine. Okay, so let's go ahead and generate this. Let's see how this turns out. One credit and let me go ahead and press play. It's technology is used by creators, leading marketing agencies, production companies, and social media platforms around the world. Now this one's not super great. Let me show you the other one I created using that mid journey uh, video here. It's technology is used by creators, leading marketing agencies, production companies. Okay, so this one's a little bit better, although it's doing weird things with kind of the hood here, but it's doing much better. So make sure you're not smiling when you do this. You're gonna get better results. And it's not quite there yet. It has a long way to go but I wanted to show you this option as well. So you could do this in a combination of using your own photos with the AI voice or using your own photos with your own audio too. A lot of different useful options inside of DID Lab. They are also adding to it all the time. One of the more recent changes is 11 Labs. By far right now, the best AI voice generator is now part of the pro plan inside of DID. So if you upgrade to the pro plan, you're gonna see a lot more useful options. And if you wanna learn all about the top 100 AI tools in the world of generative AI, we do have an entire platform that you could try completely for free to learn all about things like ChatGPT, MidJourney, other avatar tools. Basically, we have entire courses, not just one, on a ton of different topics, and you get access to all of them under one subscription. And again, it has a free trial, so you could see if it's a good fit for you. I'll put a link to that in the description. I hope you found this video useful and I'll see you next time.